yes, I want to display in progressive scan mode. I want an excuse to use... Uh, the hell? Oh, there it goes. Sorry, the, the time lag on the hodgepodge. <laughs> it's recording it in widescreen for no reason. Uh, There's not really a whole lot of options here. I can adjust that, and um, I can see a trailer for Beautiful Joe. <laughs> but funny. the trailer's not as beautiful as it could be, because it only runs in 30 frames a second. Uh Product number zero three. New game on easy mode. Why do I have to loading? Colonized planet Ode. <laughs> okay, Ode to a planet Ode. <laughs> Ode to planet Ode's the planet. Is is a really barren rock. There's, the There's not a whole lot of music here yet. It it builds. Do I have it on mute? No. Oh wait, I hear something now. Yeah. It's just one of those quiet scenes. I just want an excuse to use my $200 GameCube component cables. Though this is really not the best game for it, but uh, it's our first GameCube LP. Not counting the Fantasy Star games that I played on the Game Boy Player on the GameCube. Wow, they got sucky. Haha. <laughs> they're like stormtroopers. But they're robots. <laughs> so, like... The, like the battle uh, droids? Yeah, battle droids. That's what they would call it. What's the matter? Can't kill an unarmed woman. <laughs> oh, but she is armed. So, how do you like your new work environment? I feel at home already. Demi's voice? Seriously? <laughs> when she actually speaks, she has an accent. Okay. I think this is the first time we've... I think this is the first time we've actually spoken to one another. Oh, and the client's a girl, by the way. By the way. Okay. Not that you can tell that, because there's no voiceovers here. Hmm. So this time I have a client that who doesn't want to show her, show their face. Come on, you've seen my face, but I haven't seen yours. That's not very fair, is it? Maybe after this job is finished. No need to be so bashful, but I guess you have your reasons. I read in your profile that your parents were killed by CAMS. Computer Armed Management System. Okay. That's all behind me now. Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. Let's get the job done. Is that okay with you, Vanessa? And her... Um, Vanessa Z. Schneider. Okay. That. That's. She has a bit of an axe. <laughs> I can see her all business. Find the entrance to the facility. You should be able to infiltrate the facility from there. Roger that. This is a short game. Eleven missions, and most of them can be beaten in, in less than ten minutes. Each mission is. Or most of them can be beaten in ten minutes or less. Some are eleven minutes. Each mission is going to be its own. Thing. And now I'm wishing you'd turn the brightness up. But when we get inside, it's going to be bright as all. Get out. Mm -hmm. And it's bright enough on the recording, so. Yeah. How do you like your Aegis suit? Not bad. Your Aegis, your Aegis suit has this special feature called Energy Drive. Energy Drive? I don't know what that is, even though I used it in the opening cutscene. Oh yeah, what the heck? The special attack that enables the discharge destructive energy contained within the suit. If you initiate... If you're interested in mass energy charges, since the suit is directly connected to your spinal cord, you can expect the response to be lightning quick. I don't ever remember signing to, up to be a human guinea pig. By the way, you can also dodge attacks with RNL buttons. Roger. Press RL to do the sidestep. Press it twice to do this. 
Personally, I think they should have used the click function, like press it normally just to do that and press it all the way down and click yeah, it. Yeah, that's kind of dumb that they don't do that, actually. That's wasted opportunity. By the way, even though this is a fairly um, obscure game, not as obscure as some, but it's a fairly obscure game in most respects, a lot of you, some of you watching may actually recognize a lot of the music. Because a lot of the music in this game was reused in Resident Evil 4 Mercenaries mode. Huh. <laughs> in fact, when you try to search for some of the music in this game on YouTube, Resident Evil 4 comes up instead. As if people thought that that's where it originated from. It didn't. <laughs> Capcom reusing music. Yep. Now it's bright. Use the top biography to your advantage. This would be all blurry on my TV if it weren't for those super expensive cables. <laughs> it's still kind of... Yeah. Well, jaggy. Very jaggy. Yeah. Great jaggy. Yeah. <laughs> it is Capcom. Jaggy, Jaggy, and Great Jaggy. Oh, by the way, I don't think I've told you this, that um, they announced uh, Street Fighter V. Oh, goody. So I guess we finally reached the end of Super Mega Alpha Ultra. Ultra, Ultra is the last. Arcade Ultra you Mega. You all enemies <laughs> in the room before you can go on. Just great. Good luck. Alpha, Beta... <laughs> Alpha, uh, Beta, Sigma, Gamma. <laughs> Sigma. X and Zero will die! <laughs> <laughs> These uh, things just have bad aim like stormtroopers or uh, droid... battle droids in the cinematics. <laughs> uh, Actually, that that opening part where she stood still and it went past her head, there is enough space between their dual shots that you can stand perfectly still and the shots will go right past you. <laughs> that can actually happen in gameplay. But in order to judge that... Uh... Ow. I said duck and crawl. Or duck and roll. She doesn't crawl. You can't shoot while moving, by the way. Oh gosh. 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 Whoa. That looks painful. Nice. The bigger the enemy you take down, the more time you have to get combo points. I just got flung. I thought you were going to say, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Now, you see that thing in the upper corner of the screen? Yeah. That's the combo system. The more enemies I kill before that thing runs out, the more combo points I get. It's actually kind of like Star Fox Assault, except I don't have to kill, like, a certain number of enemies to increase my multiplier. Hmm. If I... Beat a room with uh, transport energy pods. And, uh, this is the in-game shop. I can power up with points, but I don't have enough points to buy anything. I can buy items. I could change suits if I bought new suits, but I haven't bought suits yet. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that was a continue I just picked up. Yeah, if I beat a room without taking any damage, you get a no damage clear, which, I mean, no duh, but <laughs> that gives you a huge multiplier to your points. But you have to kill every enemy in the room to get the no damage clear. Wow. You can't just kill a few enemies, then leave the room without taking damage, and get this. Hmm. Also, if you kill a few enemies and come back to the room, and then kill the rest without taking damage you still won't get the no damage clear. Hmm. <clears throat> the scoring system in this game is very, very picky. 
Combo! Ah! Yikes! I did not have enough time to react to that. It was like, as soon as I turned around, missiles were in my face. Whoa, got very dark all of a sudden. This game does have nice lighting effects. Uh, was that everything in the room? Yeah. See how my shots light up this uh, dark area? Yeah. The whiter parts make me think of J.J. Abrams' Enterprise. <laughs> <clears throat> Yes, the guy who's working on the new Star Wars movie. The guy who had to be talked into working on the new Star Wars movie. He so totally wanted to do it. It's just, you know, sometimes you have to convince people that it's okay for them to do what they want. <laughs> just like convincing Frankie to join the... Whoa! Draw hats. This is on easy mode, but I have no upgrades, so... <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, there's a battle. Can those things teleport? No. One warped in. Oh. That's kind of how they spawn in this game. Ah, damn it. I wasn't fast enough on this. You're invincible while using energy drives. Huh. That's a great way to get a no damage clear. But... They use up your energy gauge. No, duh. <laughs> so, use them wisely. I am a very conservative player. I do not like just throwing out all kinds of special attacks or special weapons if my regular attacks can do the job. Mm-hmm. Oh, one feature about all bots of this type is that they'll start to self they'll start a self destruct sequence if you get too close to them. Mm -hmm. Though they usually don't blow up before I can get them. Ah, resupply room. That means I'm right near the boss. Yo, you'll know, notice in the footage earlier that there was a series of there was a room or a door that I completely bypassed. All that's in there is some hallways, more enemies, and power-ups, but it's a complete waste of time. You can get a better score by bypassing that entirely and getting a better time multiplier. Huh. Metal Gear! This thing is called a Son of Bloom! Son of a Bloom! Son of Bloom! You can't actually... Get Son of Bloom, you can't destroy it with your current gear. You better come back for now. Sure, but you underestimate me. Professional! I was not even aiming for that. <laughs> wow. That so, gives me a huge... So you get to the boss and you're like, You're not ready! Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. I can buy... I'm Between episodes, I'm going to buy power-ups. And uh, one other thing I want to show off. Trial missions. <sighs> this is the only time I'm going to show a trial mission on camera. Mm -hmm. These areas are completely randomized. Hmm. It's um, unlike regular missions, which have a specific layout. The structures of these are completely random. By killing enemies here, I can get more points between missions to spend on power-ups. Oh, getting a no damage clear in a room with laser traps is a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh, you got it there. Oh, they're easier than they were in the regular mission. But <laughs> that's because... The, the reason for that, actually, is because this is level one of the trial mission. Be, in order to beat trial missions with a professional rank, you just have to visit all 15 rooms. All trial missions will have 15 rooms. If you visit all of them, you'll get a professional rank when you leave. Huh. <clears throat> there are multiple exits, however, so pay attention to the thing that tells you how many rooms you've cleared. Because oftentimes you'll come to branches like this...
So, this seems like the last level you did. It is. Trial missions are made up of random components from previous levels you've done. Since I've only ever done one level, there's only one level for it to take components from. Oh. So it kind of is the level you just did. Except it has a different randomized structure. <coughs> You'll notice that Vanessa kind of has a little dancing thing going on. Mm -hmm. That'll become even more apparent when I get a suit with rapid fire capabilities. Right now I'm just button mashing. <laughs> It looks like the walls are bending inward. <laughs> Someone punched the walls. Hawk punch walls! And which room are we on now? Number... This is number... Go to these and press A to exit, but I'm going to go for a professional rank. Which means I don't have a whole lot more rooms to actually go through. Power-ups and new suits and whatnot in this game are extremely expensive, so spend as much time as you can grinding up points in the trial missions. There's no limit to how many times you can do a trial mission Ow. before moving on to the next mission. Mm -hmm. So, go nuts until... go nuts for donuts until you can afford everything. <laughs> time to make the donuts. I made the donuts. Ugh. I am definitely gonna have something to eat after this. <laughs> this is a lot of backtracking. Get back to here. These in these early trial missions, these will be your main split rooms. That thing I just destroyed is one of the most common enemy variants, but they all have various different things that they can do from the top. Some of them throw plasma balls, some of them do a machine gun thing. That one right there had missile launchers. I could tell just by looking at it. Huh. Just two rooms left. Ow! Yeah, to do an energy drive, you press different combinations on the D-pad, and then Follow it up with the A button, but it doesn't seem to like to it, it doesn't seem to like to accept input while you're currently using another attack, like your basic palm shot. Hmm. I thought he was gonna. I thought that thing was gonna hit you. <laughs> I did too. Yeah. Uh, zap zap. Not close enough. To, it's, it's it's lament of innocence all over again. I start attacking the doors. So the last room was just that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, every time you clear a trial mission level with a professional ranking, a new trial mission appears. A new level appears. Mm -hmm. They're always randomized. No matter how many times I show you them, it'll always be a different, a different order. Once you've beaten level 5 with a professional ranking, you get additional bonus points. Huh. So, they're a really good way to rack up points. Hmm. And now I can increase my palm shot in the barrel. I can buy... I can buy two new suits. The Prima Blazer or the Prima Guardian? Nice. Prima Strategy Guides. <laughs> Prima. And I start with the Prima Wait, you have... You actually have a strategy guide for this game. Yes, I do. But it's, it's from Brady. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so close. You'd be reading Prima to find out about Prima. Prima Donna. Uh, Alright, well, this episode's gone on long enough. See you guys in the next episode where I will have better suits and power-ups and crap. The hot chick shoots stuff. With her hands! <laughs>